She didn't know these odd circumstances around the death of Chris Benoit and his family. For those of you who don't know, he was a WWE wrestler. And in 2007, he murdered both his wife and son. And then supposedly unalived himself. Both his wife Nancy and son Daniel died of asphyxiation. Now, this seems pretty straightforward, right? Well, let's dive a little deeper into some of the details. This took place over a three-day period, June 22nd through 24th in 2007. Chavo Guerrero was also a wrestler and a very close friend of Chris Benoit. He had a phone conversation with Chris on Friday. 45 minutes into the phone conversation, Chris told Chavo he heard someone knocking at the door. Chavo said in the background he could hear Chris answer the door in a scuffle. And then the phone line went dead. Finally, after a while, Chavo was able to get Chris to answer his cell phone. He said he sounded extremely out of character and very groggy. He also said at one point, he let out a very forced, I love you, Chavo, which was out of character for Chris. The WWE also said that when Chris called to tell them that Nancy and Daniel were both in the hospital for food poisoning, he didn't sound like himself and found very groggy and tired. And then before he hung up, also gave a very forced, I love you. They also never recovered Chris Benoit's cell phone. They have absolutely no idea where it is. The police also conveniently cut the line immediately. Also, the needles and steroids they said that Chris pumped into his body right before the murders were never found in his house either. The medical examiner said because of the decomposition of Chris's body, he died Saturday, but he was supposedly sending text messages on Sunday. He was sending Chavo texts of his address, and that was it. But Chavo definitely knew where he lived as he had just spent the previous weekend with him. Prior to his death, Chavo said that Chris seemed extremely worried, to the point where he was taking alternative routes home from work at night. Chavo pressed him to get him to open up about what it was, but Chavo said he wouldn't tell him. There also were 10 empty beer cans and one empty wine bottle sitting by Chris's body, but not a trace of alcohol found in his system. Police also changed how Daniel died three different times. They also changed where they found Nancy's body three different times. Some people speculate that Nancy's ex had something to do with it. His name is Kevin Sullivan. The month of these murders happened on the 10 year anniversary of Kevin and Nancy's divorce. It's also rumored that Kevin dabbled in satanic cults, but that's just a theory. The weirdest part to me though, someone had updated Chris Benoit's Wikipedia page and said that Chris was mourning Nancy's death. But here's the thing. It was updated supposedly after Chris had already passed, but the police hadn't found the bodies yet. So tell me, do you believe that Chris Benoit murdered his family or that he was framed? 